<laughs> so how's everything? Um, good. good. Baby's moving? Baby's moving like crazy. Okay. Yes. So Any cramps? Um, bleeding? No, nothing bad like that. Well, I was just doing a standard third trimester visit for her. Um, she's having an uncomplicated pregnancy, um, and this is just a, a routine prenatal visit. Yeah, are you getting uncomfortable or not, not too much? Yes, very, yeah. <laughs> extremely. It's like right under my ribs. Uh -huh. So like even sitting like this, it's like, okay, you know, there's this yeah. brick wall under my bones. It will get worse as you get bigger. Yeah. And then right close to the end when the baby drops, then it will have a little more room. Right. You know, when the head gets lower in your bones. How, when does it actually drop? Is that Usually with seven? About that. For a first baby, it drops a little bit later because everything's so strong holding it up. But with a second baby, because you kind of have more room, the head will drop a little sooner. Oh, okay. So probably more like 36-ish weeks. It does seem like, what are we doing all these visits, doing these routine things? But they do pick up uh, some findings before they get serious. What can happen is that something that could be treated would be not picked up. If a patient has elevated blood pressure but no symptoms from it and she waits until she has symptoms, by that point the baby could have restricted growth. There's all those sorts of things that can happen. If the baby's not growing but she doesn't come to be measured, uh, there are tests that we can do to see why the baby's not growing, see if we can correct some of those things, see if she needs to be delivered early for that reason instead of coming, missing some visits and coming with a dead baby that could have been prevented. Um, might be the baby might be breech, which uh, is no okay. significant. Yeah, There's plenty turn. of time to flip around. But usually I listen below your belly button because that's in the baby's head down. That's yeah. the where the heart is usually uh, below. Yeah. So when it's at the belly button or above, it's usually sign of the baby's breech. Just for that moment. But all these big movements could turn around. <laughs> yeah.